Hello friends and welcome to Coffee and Conversation. Encouragement for today. A ray of hope coming from the Gordon Avenue Baptist Church in Adel, Georgia. And there's just not a better place to find a ray of hope than in the light of God's holy and precious word. Today, friend, we're going to be in Luke's Gospel, chapter 4, and I want us to look at verse 18 as a text verse of Scripture. Now, the Bible says here, The Spirit of the Lord is upon me, because he hath anointed me to preach the gospel to the poor, sent me to heal the brokenhearted, to preach deliverance to the captive and recovering of sight to the blind and to set at liberty them that are bruised. And I pray that God would add his special blessings to the reading of his holy word today. Get that good fresh cup of hot coffee Let's sit together and have an encounter with God and His precious Word on this beautiful day. Well, amen. Friend, there's just not a better way to start a brand new day than a good fresh cup of hot coffee and a fresh word from God. Today I want to bring to you a devotional thought that is titled, A Deep Relationship. Now there may be aspects of yourself, your choices, your history, or your circumstances that are difficult to face. In fact, they may be so painful that you just want to block them out. You'd rather no one know about them, especially not God. But friend, understand, the Father is not surprised or repulsed by your profound wounds, your fears, or your failings. He knows all about them, and his response is to pursue you and to heal you fully. This is why he sent Jesus to save you. This is also why he invites you into an intimate relationship with him communion with him that goes far deeper than what you see, you touch, or you feel. He desires for you to encounter his presence in the depth of your personhood where true freedom and healing can take place. So friend, don't be afraid to be honest with God because that's the path to genuine peace and strength. Think about that, and let's pray together. Father, I am so grateful that when you see my failings, your compassionate desire is to heal me. Thank you, Lord, for helping me walk in your freedom. In the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord, I pray. Amen and amen. Well, friend, I pray the devotion has been a blessing to you today. And if it has, you be a blessing to someone else by sharing it with them, remembering that your life is the Bible that some will read today. So let others see and hear Jesus in all you say and in all that you do. Again, God bless you. Have a wonderful day.